Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to the episode number 5 of my SPSS tutorials. Uh, I recommend watching my previous videos because they explain a lot on SPSS, but you are not obligated to do so. You can also watch this video separately. Uh, and today we'll take a look at the topic of correlations. So how do you get a correlation table on SPSS and how should you interpret the outcome? So at first you go to analyze and then go to correlate and then bivariate. And then you can select the variables you want and uh, make sure that they are in this window. Uh, for this episode, I've selected your gender, your age, your household income, and your personal income. Uh, then you press paste. Then you go to the syntax screen. You select the code and press run. And then an output screen will open in which you can see the correlation table. The correlations are the, uh, rela is the relationship between two different variables. So if one variable uh, rises in value, what does the other, uh, what does the other uh, variable do? Uh, for example, if you take a look at the correlation between age and personal income, it says 0 0.061. This means that if age rises, then personal income also rises because it's a positive correlation. It's 0 0.061. So the older you get, the more your personal income increases because it's a positive correlation. Uh, if you, for example, take a look at the relationship between age and household income, it's minus 2.18, uh, which means that if your uh, age increases, then your household income decreases which is quite an interesting observation, actually. Uh, so uh, it always shows the relationship between two variables. If one of them rises, what does the other one do? Uh, you can also take a look at the uh, correlations between your gender and, uh, for example, personal income. So if your gender rises, then your personal income gets lower. And for this uh, interpretation, you really need to know what a rise in gender means. And I've explained this in episode two. If you, this is the data view, but if you go to variable view and then take a look at sex and then at the value, you see that a one means a male and a two means a female. So a rise in sex means that you're going from a male to a female. If we then go back to the correlation table, you see that if gender rises, so the higher gender is, in other words, if you're a woman, then your personal income is lower than if you're a man. So if your gender rises from a one to a two, so from men to woman, then your personal income decreases. So it's a negative correlation. Okay, so that's how you interpret correlations. Um, yeah, that's what they mean. Uh, there are also uh, yeah, rules about how strong a correlation can be. Uh, between a 0 and an 0 0.1, it's uh, a non-correlation because it, there will always, always be the slightest of correlations. I mean, if I say right now that I will win the lottery next week and I win the lottery next week, then yeah, that, that, that always has a very small chance of happening. So you could say that there's a very slight correlation but it's just a big coincidence so therefore between a zero and an 0 0.1 uh, you say that it's a non-correlation uh, between an 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 uh, i don't think there are any of those over here no uh, but between uh, 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 it's a, a weak correlation between 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 it's, a, it's an average correlation and a correlation which is stronger than 0.5. So between 0.5 and 1, you can say that it's a strong correlation. And the same applies for negative correlations. So between, o, uh, between 0 and minus 0.1, it's a non-correlation. Uh, for example, this one, it's minus. Uh, so the, uh, between the correlation between your gender and your household income is minus 0.45, so it's between uh, so it's between a nil and a minus 0.1. So you say that this is a non-correlation. 
uh, between uh, minus 0.1 and minus 0.3, so for example the correlation between sex and age, is uh, so between minus 0.1 and minus 0.3 is a weak correlation. Uh, between uh, minus 0.3 and minus 0.5, so for example this one, between the correlation between uh, your gender and your personal income, so between minus 0.3 and minus 0.5 is an average correlation, and a correlation between minus 0.5 and minus 1 uh, is uh, a strong correlation. So a correlation can be non, so there can be a non-correlation, a weak correlation, an average correlation, or a strong correlation. Uh, and they, those can be either uh, positive or negative, depending on the, on the direction they are in. Uh, and they can also be uh, significant or not. Uh, ooh, I have not explained before what uh, significancy means. Um, but for now, uh, if, uh, if a correlation has two stars behind it, for example, between gender, the correlation between gender and personal income, uh, it has two stars, which means that it is a significant correlation. And for example, the correlation, and, the, and uh, that's also a bit logical because it's an average correlation of minus 0.346. Uh, well, if you uh, take, for example, a look at the correlation between uh, gender and household income, it's a very, nah, it's almost a non existential uh, correlation. Uh, and therefore, it's, it, it is not significant. Uh, yeah, significancy means that uh, whether it's actually a true difference. So whether it's, yeah, it's an actual correlation. Um, so yeah, that's how you interpret uh, correlations. Uh, you can also yeah, uh, copy the correlation table and then uh, yeah, paste it in a Word document if you need it. Um, and yeah, that's how you, uh, that's how you uh, get to a correlation table and how you should interpret it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. And um, I'll see you guys for the next episode.